What's up, ladies and gents? Excadizors here, bringing you some Monday Night Combat PC gameplay. Oh man, PCs are amazing. Yes, yes they are. Uh, but anyway, what is up, guys? I figured since I do enjoy me some Monday Night Combat, and I have seen quite a few comments, I figured I would give it a whirl against my better judgment, and surprisingly, it actually turned out pretty well. Uh, but unfortunately, this game was a little framey for me, and uh, you will definitely notice that notice it. But it is not not too bad. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, I played three rounds before this: uh, Laser Razor, Ammo Mule, and Spunky Cola, and I had no frame issues, which was really surprising because I was I thought I was going to have frame issues while uh, recording uh, this gameplay and. I don't know, it was crystal smooth except for when Fraps decided to make a new file, which is what Fraps does. It's a big pile of piss. It was crap ten years ago, and it was crap ten years later. Ah, oh, it's a debacle. PC recording is definitely not as simple as it should be. Especially when you compare it to, you know, the options that console has, which is why I'm kind of reluctant to do PC videos, but, uh... Since it's actually turned out pretty well, maybe we'll uh, see some more PC gameplay. I don't know, we will see, we will see. Even Nostradamus cannot tell. He's a fail, but... Uh, anyway, my thoughts on Monday Night Combat PC, if uh, you are curious. Uh, it is definitely worth it if you have a capable computer. If you have a capable computer and you enjoy this game on 360, that's... My question to you is, what the hell are you waiting for? It is only $15, and it will be some of the best $15 you'll ever spend. Uh, it's you know what what comes with PC gameplay is you know obviously mouse and keyboard, which is superior control. And uh, it's not not only that, but uh, Monday Night Combat PC has dedicated servers, and this is an interesting little skirmish that this tank, <laughs> this tank and I went through. We couldn't. Uh, couldn't decide what we were doing here. It's um, I don't know why that didn't kill him. It's like sometimes, I guess I was on top of his head, so I guess it does make sense that that didn't kill him. But uh, finally, I just said, you know what, fuck it, death blossom midair, that'll work. <laughs> but uh, PC Monday Night Comet runs on dedicated servers, so you can actually get to play. Uh, you actually get to choose where you want to play. Like uh, if you're in California, you won't have to be subjected to being put into a server that's in Maine. You know, across the country on the totally, totally wrong side of the nation to be joining a multiplayer server in. And uh, with this, you know, it comes with a server browser and all. And you can set the uh, settings to you know less than 100 ping, which is what I do. Uh, and you can search, you can omit some maps and all that fun stuff, but yeah, that, that comes with any, any PC game, not just Monday Night Combat, so just throwing that out there if you did not know. But, uh, one of the big things, the huge thing for me is that, you know, despite what this video is, uh, that despite the fact that this video, 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 jeez, I can't talk. Uh, despite the fact that this video is a little choppy, that is not any indication of how this game runs on a capable computer. When uh, I am not running fraps or even the rounds before this, I was I pretty much run at a 60 frames, 60 frames constant, no matter what is going on. And uh, you'll notice that there are a lot more bots spawning, which is I think intentional because the PCs are capable of more, and whereas uh, on console, you know, kind of limited by what it can do, and it does get very framey, and, you know, on maps, like, actually, not, not, not any, not, uh, any map in particular, but sometimes when things get a little crazy, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of bot congestion, and, uh, flags going off, you know, things can get really, really framey, especially if you're the host. And there is none of that on the PC, so no frame issues and no latency lag is definitely a huge, huge plus. Uh, as if you needed uh, any more convincing, because uh, that kind of thing is amazing, amazing indeed. Uh, there is, I think they did uh, change a couple of things balance-wise to, I guess, compensate for the superior control of PC games. Uh, 
And this is one of the infamous freezes that Fraps will do to you when uh, when uh, it's making a new file. It's, shit just completely freezes and you're at the mercy of whatever button you were pressing before the, the lag spike hit, so... You, you won't have to worry about that unless you're making videos, then uh... Yeah, yeah, you won't have to worry about it. At least the common, common person won't have to worry about it, I will, but uh, you let me worry about that. Uh, there are a few balance changes, uh, they, for what, I don't understand the reasoning behind this, because this actually kind of baffles me, they, uh, put a, like, a jump jet meter, like, you can see that on the bottom right next to the, uh, ammo, money, and skills, that little blue bar, and, uh, there's a little, like, cooldown to using the jump jet, because I, I guess they felt that, uh, you know, floating around with superior aim, is uh, unbalanced, which I think is kind of silly considering that the tank and gunner are very easy targets to hit. The gunner, more so than the tank, is at least the tank has charge, to which he can use, you know, for better mobility. And uh, that definitely looks like my sound is out of sync. I will have to fix that. But, uh, yeah, the, the gunner I have officially deemed to be unplayable because, I mean, even an amateur and even an amateur can uh you know completely you know you know keep his keep his uh aim on the money when fighting a gunner even if you are floating around like you should be and uh yeah that it really really uh really sucks but eh, what can you do I just don't play gunner anymore <laughs> it's just not worth it uh assault tank assassin Support. Actually, anything else is pretty much just a better, better choice all around for uh, for this, I would think. Unless uh, you've got some ridiculous aim, which I do not have anymore. Which is <laughs> why I'm playing the tank, because you know you hit you hit someone with that charge, and you are guaranteed a free kill. And I, I will say though, the PC community, as far as Monday Night Combat is concerned, is. Uh, pretty lame I think because they, <laughs> they they are complaining about assassins which I will give them it is pretty annoying because you know with improved latency you know their grapples always hit you know it, and you know on console it really isn't as bad because you know if a guy has you know a fair amount of latency issues you know you'll see the guy trying to grab you from behind and you know you'll just turn around and blast his face off and that will be all she wrote, but not the case on PC. If an assassin gets behind you, it is GG no re, but uh, if you know how to deal with assassins, it will not be a big deal, which is actually kind of why I play tank as much as I do, is because there are a lot of assassins, and uh, it would not be too uncommon to do a 180 charge and absolutely pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that guy. Oh, what an idiot. Uh, pancake, you know, two assassins in a row because they just do. Oh, that is a famous Fraps leg -like spike. And. And uh, if you can actually read that chat, uh, these people are going crazy because I keep killing them and they think I hack. And this is one thing that console people have over PC gamers is because you know whenever, whenever something happens that PC gamers don't understand they immediately assume hacks like they don't know what I'm doing here and that is you know basically keeping my kill streak alive and buying juice and kill four people and just rinse and repeat the process all over again if they really wanted to stop me they would cut me off the juice machine and kill me there but they don't know that so they think I hack and uh, if you don't know how to deal with assassins, uh, if you're a first time player, I totally do not blame you. But a uh, way you can get around it, uh, the big biggest giveaway is uh, the sound that they make while they're cloaked. Uh, it is a distinct annoying hum, so you have to be sure to listen out for that if they have assassins on the other team. But uh, that is diminished if the assassin is smart and decloaks before she tries to engage in a back grapple. But most assassins don't do that, so you won't have to worry about that. Uh, and another way is, you know, constantly jump because if you're in the air, they cannot grapple you. 
And uh, another thing is like you see these like ledges that are you know placed throughout the map. You can stand on those, and assassins will have to jump up there to grapple you. So uh, facing assassins that uh, you want to not be annoyed by anymore, just jump around a lot. Be sure to sound whore them best you can, or you know sit on ledges. That'll all, all work. And assassins will be GG no re, or you could just play tank, slap on armor 3, get passive 3, and just laugh as assassins try to grapple you because most assassins, like I said, are pretty stupid. So play tank, get free kills, and do what I do and get monster kills and get called hacker. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. And see, like that's that same assassins. Like he says. He says, like, what the fucking fucking chat, or something like that. And he's honestly surprised that I pancaked him after I saw him go cloak and run straight at me. It's like, come on, dude, are you that dense? Oh. PC noobs are definitely in a league of their own. Just... <laughs> oh, too funny. But since this round is coming to a close, I... Monday Night Comment on PC, definitely worth it. Great 15 bucks, and uh, you will get a free guest pass, which you can uh, hand out to a friend or something like that. I actually still have mine, and uh, maybe if I like you enough, maybe I will give it to you. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I'm crazy. But, uh, yeah, that is game 41 and 3. Uh, I did have a few other games that definitely do not have frame problems. I may or may not post that, but they are definitely not as dominating of a performance as that was. So, I don't know. We will see. So, 41 and 3, Tank, I'm going to net combat PC, Steel Peel Arena, and you can see the chat there. They think I hack. And uh, if you're wondering about my name, Shalibur, uh, that is what the Ventrilo Man or Microsoft Man pronounces Excalibur and uh, I just kind of went with it maybe I'll get back maybe I'll get into that story some other day but uh, that's the brief version so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it peace out